Hello, I welcome you once again to Jorita Academy. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a Google form using the smartphone. And you are going to use the Form Maker app. Now, with Google Form, it helps you to create surveys, certificates, quizzes, and also gather information from your, your from your uh, customers or other people. So it's a powerful uh, tool under uh, Google. So let's dive into it. So we're going to use the Form Maker. So this is the app. This is the Form Maker app. So let's click on it. And when you click on it for the first time, it will uh, ask you to sign with your Google. So click on the sign in with Google. So you you after signing in, this is the interface you're going to see. So the interface. If you want to use a template, so with the form maker, it has templates that helps you to design your, your, your questions with ease. But if you want to start from the scratch to your other so if you want to select a template, you can just come to the session and click on the template. It will give you a variety of templates that you can select from based on the kind of work you are doing. So you select it, then you edit the questions to suit your parts. But if you want to start from the scratch, that's where you're going to click on the plus sign, the plus sign below the right below uh, uh, the bottom right corner of your screen. So you just click on it, then you you you, you give your form a name. So let's say uh, I want to name it that affiliate program. Then the description will be to get information or to get data. Let me use data to get data okay so just like that then from there you are starting from the scratch you are not using any templates you are starting from the scratch so you then click on create then after that it will give you this first question so this is the first question so the, first, the top session here will give you the variety of questions that you can ask so you can ask a question that demands a short answer or a question that demands a paragraph that's a, a longer answer question that demands multiple choice, a, a checkbox, drop down, even the date, time and everything here you can select from it. So let's say for instance you want to the first question to be the uh, the person's full name so you can then type on the on this search here and, and enter the question. So the question is let's say full full name. Then if it is a required question I want every, every uh, user to answer or every person accessing the phone to answer you can click on the required and it will be a required question then from there you click on next to add more questions to it so now with this next question you can select any of the uh, answer options so let's say let's use a multiple choice then let's type our question to be let's say gender then if it's a required question just uh, highlight it or just activate it then with the options the first option will be gender the first one will be male so you type the first option then you come and click on the on this section here not on the add other but this session just click on this session to give you an option to add another answer so let's say female and if you want to add other to you can just click on this one to add other let's say the person prefer not to be male or female so you can add other to it so that the person can also add uh, select that one so if you are good with that then you can go to the next and add more questions so this one let's say we want the age uh, sorry date of birth so you are going to use dates then you set the Question. So you can see, you can see dates of birth. Okay, and it, it may be a required question, so you can just take that one. In the description can be optional, so you can just leave it like that. Then, okay. So, I did. So with the, disc the description, you can ask the person to enter it in a certain format. So you can see the month first or you can see the year first or the day first that can be at the description so for that let's ignore that 
So you, now you have about three questions. So if you are, want to view how the question will be, then you go to the preview. So you click on the preview. So this is how your form will be. You can see that the form name is here, the description is here. The first question is here, which is optional. So you took to bring asterisk to it. Then you have the gender to a second question and date of birth as the other question. So if you are okay with this, but if you still want to add more questions, just click on the plus sign here to give you an option to add more questions to it. So let's say we can add, let's say, location or let's say country. Um, country. Okay, so country can also be a required question. Okay, so if you're okay with this, you just click on save. And it will be added to your questions there already okay. so if your questions that you want to ask is okay for you then the next thing is you click on the save to drive so your questions will now be saved to drive so now it's in, it's in the saving mode so you are saving the form so now this form is saved so after saving the form you can now share your form link so you click on the share form so that you can generate a link for you. So this is a link. So if you copy the link, you can then share the link to other people. So you can copy, then that's it. So after copying, you just go to your WhatsApp or your Facebook or anywhere you want your form to be, then just share the link. So that's how we create Google form using the form maker. Okay, so I end the lesson here and please try and subscribe to this channel. There are more tutorials, there are more lessons coming. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscription button, the, uh, the notification button to get notification of new videos and tutorials. Thank you and God bless you. I could walk for days, searching for your praise, but is it easy?